All right, what's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Jumpman Pro. But before we get into all that, please do me a huge favor by dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. And do not forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop new videos just like this. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers and I really do appreciate the support. We're on that journey. I'm trying to get to 5K soon as well. So please do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Now, like I said, let's go ahead and get started with the box. We have the Jumpman Pros in here. Um, so you got your typical box here. Not a fan of this box. It's your black Jumpman or Jordan box with the uh, gold symbol on it. Y'all seen this box before. There's your size tag information there. And um, like the typical paper that comes with it, your white paper with the gold 23 on it. So there you go. Nothing fancy with the box. But what we do have is a classic basketball shoe, guys. And that is the Jumpman Pro in the black and white colorway. This is an OG colorway, so go ahead and drop your comments down below. Let me know if y'all remember this shoe. All right, now, this shoe dropped back in, I believe, like 1997. And it was one of like the first few shoes that dropped when Jordan actually became its own brand. Um, I think this isn't the first one, I don't think. There's there's another one that I actually do have that I, I don't think I did a review for it, but it's one of the, it was right around the time that Jumpman became a thing, or Jordan Brand became its own thing, right? And this shoe was super popular back in the day. Now, we used to call these shoes the Jumpmans. That's what everybody used to always call them, they're the Jumpmans. A lot of different shoes that were not the number Jordan, so like at the time it would have been like, you know, 11, 12, 13, or whatnot. These were, um, we consider them Jumpmans. And these were the shoes that were worn by the Jordan brand athletes of the time. So um, you had like Eddie Jones was one of the ones that really wore this shoe a lot. Um, you have Ben Baker. Um, you also have, uh, I believe Michael Finley was one as well. Oh, and Ray Allen, of course. That's why Ray Allen had a lot of the different, like very popular PE Jordan shoes. He was a Jordan brand athlete. So. These shoes, like I said, were extremely popular back then. They were not like today's day and age when you see certain Jordans in the store, people kind of overlook them or they don't want them because everyone is really crazy about the retros, right? Like one through 14, those, you know, Jordan retros. But you have, I think today's Jordan brand athletes, I, I know like Blake Griffin was at one point, I don't know if he still is, like Chris Paul, uh, and then you got Luca's also a Jordan brand athlete. So they have their own shoes, I believe, but it's not the same as like these were because these shoes weren't really like tied to like an individual. Like everyone wore these shoes and they were like super popular at the time. I can't say it enough. So glad to have these in the collection. These actually dropped. Um, I was able to grab these um, from Finish Line actually. I was gonna get them from Hibbit Sports but they sold out. And um, I checked Finish Line and they had, you know, a couple sizes were gone but they had a pretty decent you know, size run and I had a $20 reward, and I was also able to get $10 off as well with some other coupon. So they retail for 140, and I got them for around like I think 110 or so. And free shipping, so can't complain about that, and I'm glad to have them in the collection. So let's go ahead and get started with the review, y'all. So hopefully you can see the resemblance um, to a very popular Jordan model, which is the Jordan 12. So if you look right here on the side, especially the first thing that should jump out, jump out at you is this white leather here. Um, so on the 12, you have that kind of ribbed or kind of like stitched leather on the side. You also have it here on the Jumpman Pro, as well as the gold eyelets here. It's another hit from the Jordan 12. Now, this colorway is particular, I guess, um, supposed to resemble the taxi Jordan 12. And you can see that from the things that I just mentioned, the eyelet here and the, the white leather, as well as the black on the shoes. So the black and white colorway, right? Um, on the midsole here, you've got the black and white midsole. You got those kind of circles there on the back as well. This is a very classic shoe, y'all. I cannot say it enough. Um, you've also got that gold stitch jump man there on the side as well. All right. Now let's take a look at the toe box of the shoe. You've got, um, it's kind of tumbled leather, but it's not like super, you know, fancy tumbled. But you've got above that some more black suede with Jumpman right there on the toe. Hopefully you guys can make that out. And moving up from there, you've got a mesh tongue with these kind of oval black laces. And at the top, you've got a kind of uh, rubberized black and like a gold Jumpman symbol right there on the top of the shoe. 
all right? <laughs> now, let's take a look at the medial side of the shoe. It's pretty much the same thing, just another look at it for you, that gold eyelet, you got that nice white leather suede, black suede all over the shoe, all right? And now let's take a look at the uh, heel of the shoe. You should see another element of the Jordan 12, which is this pull tab. And on the pull tab, it says Jumpman Pro. So if you read it that way, Jumpman Pro. And you've got a gold uh, symbol with a black Jumpman inside it right there. So a lot of elements of the Jordan 12, which at the time, yes, that this did release uh, uh, right alongside the Jordan 12, I believe. Um, okay. Now taking a look at the outsole, you see some other hits of the Jordan 12. You remember the Jordan 12 actually has a Jumpman symbol that kind of runs up the tongue. This one is right here on the side of it, not up the tongue, but up the front of the outsole. This one has a Jumpman as well. It just doesn't go up the front there like on the Jordan 12s do. Also, you've got some carbon fiber print there. I don't know if it's real carbon fiber or not, but you've got that kind of checkered uh, gold and black that you see on the uh, taxi colorway for the Jordan 12s. All right, and uh, yeah, you know, you stand at Jumpman Pro out, so really, really like this shoe. I might go ahead and throw these on, y'all. That doesn't happen very often when I review a lot of these shoes. Sometimes, you know, I barely get around to wearing all of them, but I think I might go ahead and throw these on because I don't know if I mentioned, but I think these dropped back in, uh, the last time was like 2017 or so, and I didn't pick up a pair. I don't know what it was. I was just, I don't know, didn't grab them and I regretted it and I'm so glad they're back and I was able to get them under retail um, because it's one of those shoes that like, this is for like real shoe fans, real collectors. This is not for people who only buy for the sake of buying for hype and all that stuff. Th that's This is not for them. This is for people who really enjoy shoes. These are a classic shoe. Now, um, if you were to walk by these in a store today, people probably would just, you know, pass over them, you know, whatever. Unless you grew up back then and you know the importance of this shoe and it being one of the first few models of the entire Jumpman line uh, or Jordan brand line. So just wanted to call that out. Really glad to have this shoe in the collection. So before we get into the on feet, I'm going to always, like I do, give you my final thoughts. As for this being a must pick up, I'm going to say... Personally, for me, yes. It retails at 140. It's not a super high price when you compare it to a lot of the other shoes that drop these days. I would probably also, you know, I'm gonna always recommend to try and get it lower if you can. Like I said, I used the finish line reward. I found another coupon, I was able to get an extra $10 off. So you can't beat it at that price of like 110 or 120. I think it was 110 actually. Um, but they retail for 140. I would say yes, for any real collector, this is a must pick up. Um, as for the sizing, you can go true to size. I went with my nine and a half. I do have a little bit of room in here, just a tad bit like I like. My toe is probably right at the end of my finger there, um, which is pretty good. I like that. I did notice that they, you know, I didn't loosen them up when I put them on my foot, but they were a little bit kind of tighter to get on. There's a, there's a little bit, just a tad bit of padding here. And with this tongue, um, I, you know, I'm kind of glad I did go with the nine and a half because I got a feeling when I put these on with socks, they're going to fit a little bit tighter, but I still would recommend go with your true to size and you should be okay or whatever you normally wear in your Jordans, right? Um, now, that'll be about all, guys, for the Jumpman Pro in the OG black and white colorway. Now, go ahead and drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Let me know, is this something that you are even looking to pick up this year or did you even know about this shoe? Do you remember it? I'm curious to know. I almost forgot, there is another Jumpman that's pretty popular, the Jumpman Pro Quick is like a, I think the OG model was like white, black, and like royal blue. That's another one that Eddie Jones is, you know, known for wearing. I think, I can't remember the other one. I actually had that shoe, Jumpman Team or something. I cannot remember the other. I'm, you know, shocked that I'm forgetting the name right now, but I throw a picture up here. That one, um, the one that I'm referring to was actually the first Jumpman shoe in the Jordan brand line. So that one um, was a pretty fire shoe. I've got it somewhere in here. Maybe I'll do a review at some point, I don't know. Uh, but just wanted to mention that because seeing this shoe brings back a lot of memories and uh, you know, just really, really glad to see these things coming back, man. Um, like I said, thank all of y'all for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I thank you again and I will see you next time.